you were to go back in time and talk to your 20-year-old self, would you do anything differently? Go back in time to your 20-year-old self. I mean, I think I'd, if I get it, I think it would make a lot, far fewer mistakes, obviously, if I could go, like, here's a list of all the dumb things you're about to do. Please do not do them. <laughs> Wouldn't we it, all? It'd be a very long list. I'm like, you know, here, let me you know, write it down or something, you know. Um, I mean, it's, hindsight's twenty twenty, so it's hard to say. Um, I mean, number of, I've made so many foolish mistakes, I have a lot count, honestly. Um, I mean, some of these things I just wish I, like, the, the, like that's some sort of mantra, management by rhyming. I mean, it, it worked for Homer, okay? Um, but management by rhyming is, the, that thing I was saying, like, if the, if the schedule is long, the design is wrong. We've overcomplicated the design many times. Um, and, and I think we, we should have just gone with a, a simpler design. Um, with the acid test being, how long will it take to, for this to fly? And if it's going to take a long time, don't do it. Do something else. Um, if you look at, say, Falcon 9, uh, you know, it's got an aluminum lithium tank, but then the um, unpressurized structures are carbon fiber composite. Mm -hmm. um, and really, one of the worst possible things you could do to a joint is take something with a high coefficient of thermal expansion, high, high CTE, uh, put it, go, take it from room temperature to cryo, um, and then connect it to something that has zero CTE, you know, basically zero, like carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. So now you've got a, a real pain in the ass joint, basically. Right. Um, so in, in, in order for that to work, you've got to, it's, the, the tank's got to shrink radially, and you've, you've got these super expensive, heavy bolts that are like a beam and bending across, you know, that, that are then t taking load into the interstage, and they desperately want to shear off uh, or, or snap off. Um, this is crazy. Um, you know, really should just have a continuous metal structure. That that's obvious, that should be done. That'd be way better. Um, you know, th th things expand to fully available resources, so then, like, sometimes you, you should say no to things that you, that you don't. Um, you know, like the original Falcon 1 team, which did the, the, the fairing, tanks, engines, everything pretty much, was maybe a little over 100 people. Okay. Uh, now SpaceX is like 6,000 people, I think, something like that. Um, so so re really just is it, simplify your product as much as possible. Um, You know, and then like, if I think of some of the ways in which, how does a smart engineer make dumb mistakes, including, you know, is optimize something that shouldn't exist. Mm -hmm. Don't optimize something that shouldn't exist. Um, but people are trained to do this in college. You can't say no to the professor. You know, the professor's gonna give you the, the exam and you've gotta answer all the questions or they will get angry. Um, so, and give you a bad grade, so then you you always optimize the you always answer the question. A lot of the times you should say this is the wrong question. Mm -hmm. Right. In fact, the question is definitely wrong to some degree. Just how wrong? Um, and I think just generally taking the approach that your design is some degree wrong, probably a lot more than you think. Your goal is to make it less wrong over time. Mm 